Showham's online and this is the Sycamore. We're at Lyncourt Homes, Cresswell Manor in Stafford. Well, it's actually just on the outskirts of South Stafford. And this is a beautiful development of mature trees. It's on the site of a former manor house, but that's gone and now Lyncourt are building some fantastic houses here. Now this is the house that we're gonna take a look around. It's a Sycamore. It's a five bedroom, beautiful. It's almost like a cottage, isn't it? Cottage style with these lovely dormer windows here. Look at the chimney up there. Oh, the detail is beautiful. I tell you what, I wonder what it looks like inside. I think we'd better go and have a look. Hello, welcome to the Sycamore, Sycamore by Lightcourt Hands. Yes. At Crestwell Manor. What a beautiful looking house. It's remarkable. It's gorgeous, isn't it? This Absolutely. really does show what Lioncourt are capable yes, of. Definitely. So this is a five bed. Yes. Right. Now this yeah, is top of the range for Lion Court. this is, you know, this site was built on the site of the old Cresswell Manor yeah. and it's got all the lovely manor, the trees that you'd expect to be built around a manor house, beautiful, it's what a, a lucky site. Yes, it is, and it's, it's actually quite a big site as well. It's not, you know, well, it's medium sized, I mean yeah. it's on the, you know, it's not overrun, but the quality of the houses is, is immense. Right, we are flip side to plan. Okay. So. We're in this beautiful hallway to start off with, and we've got double doors then through into the lounge. I mean, every room just looks amazing. I can't wait to look around, it's beautiful. God, what an entrance. They have nice glass doors there. Yeah. They're very nice, isn't aren't that, they? Isn't that yeah. lovely? Wow. It smells beautiful as well. Do you know, I love houses like this. It's grown up, isn't it? take this in a minute show the viewers what we can see and how gorgeous it is right living room six meters four in length three meters seven in width look at the sparkly bits on the fire Steve <laughs> I think you need to show the viewers how beautiful the glass is on that fire isn't that lovely Huge patio, huge garden. You can see a mature a lot of these trees in, but we'll have a bit more of a look at that when we get upstairs. Yeah. So you've got French doors there to the back garden. Okay. So back into the hall. Okay, right. So we've got a cupboard here under the stairs. It's a useful space for your Henry. Okay. Poor Henry's on his side. Yeah, he is. He's slapped his fell over. Right, so downstairs WC. That's quite a nice little vanity unit, isn't it? With the ideal standard. We've actually got dimensions for in here. It's one yeah. metre seven by just over one metre in width. That's lovely. Look yeah, that size. Like nice that. doors as well. I Look do at these like beautiful that. doors. That's very nice. Really nice door furniture. Yeah, it's an internal WC, yeah. so there's no window. So a lot of the, we've got um, the nest here. Nest is the, the nest system going on here, mm. which is it controls the heat. Yeah, and it's doesn't it? yeah. yeah, with your phone. Wow, look at that dining room. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's elegant, big window as well. Right, dimensions for in here, three meters nine by three meters six. What a gorgeous dining room. So they've got eight chairs around this table. Emma, can you do me a favor? Can you just put that picture straight there? Or no, I'm not touching anything. There's too much glass there. <laughs> it looks a bit slanted. <laughs> oh gosh. There's another beautiful room coming next as well. Right. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Nice, isn't it? Beautiful is this. Gosh. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's have a look for some dimensions. So, you've 
you've got family and breakfast room, so that's that area that you're in, and you've got five metres three in width, three metres five in length. Then the kitchen, five metres three by three metres seven for this area. Yeah. So with the kitchen, you get a breakfast bar this side, which yeah. is nice, really nice worktop. So you've actually got space for a sofa, your TV, etc. And they have another table and chairs there in that area, which is perfect, isn't it? Yeah, well balanced. It's certainly a really big space, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got essentially over seven metres in length that way yeah. with the two areas together. And there's a utility room. But let's take a quick look at this kitchen first of all. Put my bag down. Right, we've got cupboard space. All the way along. It doesn't seem overly cluttered, does it, this house Beautiful either? granite work surface. Obviously, I'm not sure what's included, what's what's extra. Obviously, this is the show home, isn't it? So you've got integrated dishwasher. Lots of cupboard space. One and a half bowl sink. That's your boiler in there, tucked away. I like the difference on the cupboards yeah. as well. Isn't that nice? That's a nice that, they're actually very nice, almost symmetrical. Beautiful flashback <coughs> there in the same granite. That's, it feels so cool. It's just gorgeous. So you've got a five ring hob there with your burners. They're really nice looking burners, aren't they? Bank of drawers underneath. So huh, two ovens for those who uh, do a lot of cooking. And the hot point appliances in yeah. this property. Well, plenty of cupboard space, an abundance of cupboard space, and then you've got a fridge and freezer there at this end. Lovely, isn't the it? The actual tiling is really good as well. It just flows straight the right way through, doesn't it? And it's impeccable, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Standard, is superb. Okay, so we've got separate utility room. Dimensions are two metres three by one metre nine. Even this is a big room. It's a good space, isn't it? Yeah. Right. You've got space for two independent appliances, yeah. so you haven't got to have a combined washer dryer, because not everybody likes yeah. it. You know, a lot of us like a separate washer and separate dryer with cupboard space. Sink same, and drainer. Same granite work service, but also a sink in the utility, which is great. I mean, it would have been nice to see the boiler in this cupboard in here, out of the way. Could you, just... be, you can't see it in there. No, it's just... And it also depends on the ventilation, yeah. doesn't it? You've got a door there out to your back garden. So you can see some of the other beautiful yeah. houses on this development. But it's nice to be able to put all your laundry in here. You might have your area, your dog bed, and you can shut the door on it, can't you? Yeah, shut the door on it's it. It's not in any way intruding on this beautiful space, which is just gorgeous. I'm blown away, actually, by how lovely it is. So this is what upstairs. we yeah. this is what we look forward to is doing amazing houses. Sometimes you can view lots of houses it, and they're all same old, same yeah. old. But now and again, you it's actually a treat for us. Come across a nice house. Just, yeah. Now this is nice. Here we got the the new place. Yeah, with this colonial style staircase, yeah. which I look really it's like. Very nice. So let's take a look upstairs. Okay. So first floor, but and we're actually mirror image to plan. So I think. We start this way then. We've got bedroom two at the front. So you've got the the roof line just protruding into the house here, which looks really nice. What a beautiful bedroom. And, and it creates that nice paper. dormer, doesn't it? The interior design in this house is impeccable. Well, let's just have a little look outside. So you can see with Crestwell Manor, you can see that a lot of the houses are just sliced and popped in between the existing trees, aren't they? Look, you can just see something really different. And you know what's great about in here is the head height. Look yeah. at the height of that wardrobe. Beautiful. So, bedroom, what did I say this was? Bedroom two, two meters eight. No, that's the ensuite. Bedroom two, three meters eight by three meters seven. And it's got an ensuite behind you there, Steve. 
and the ensuite is two meters four by one meter seven. Again, I can see the volume, the, the, the volume in the ceiling there, which has been cleverly tiled. Just look at, look at the detail on that. Effort, yes. Yeah, you don't have to do it, but not wasted. I mean, there's some really difficult cuts there. Fair play. Again, we've got the ideal standard sanitary wear running in and out. So, through the house. Bedroom. I'm going to leave bedroom one until last. So, main bathroom. So, it's got separate bath and a shower cubicle which is always fantastic uh, a loo and a pedestal seat look at the depth on that windowsill there Steve. Mm, it's a dormer though mm. yeah beautifully tiled very similar tiles on the floor yeah. to the wall which is lovely you have to excuse my squeaky feet so you've got your airing cupboard there's your cylinder it's a big one. Bedroom three. Oh, it's beautiful. We have the flamingos again. Right, dimensions in here, three metres three by three metres seven. What a lovely room. So quiet, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know, this house has got such a lovely feel to yeah. it, hasn't it? I mean, I mean, what do we know? What do we know about Stafford? I mean, Stafford's quite a large, a large town, isn't it? It certainly it? is. I mean, it's very well situated for the M6. The so M6 it's... is literally round the corner. Yeah, it's you know. not even five minutes in that direction. Well, you were at the quieter but end of town. But you can't hear it from here. Because Cresswell's quite a nice, a nice area. It certainly is. Oh, wow. This is bedroom four. Polar bears. Beautiful. The detail in the interior design is just gorgeous. Isn't it lovely? Right, bedroom four, three metres by three metres five. You can see, as I was saying to you earlier on, you can see these lovely trees that are just building this, pro this, this whole development around. Really, really nice. Beautifully styled as well. Be a lucky family that gets this house. Okay. Now this is labelled as bedroom five or study. Again, look at the roof line. <laughs> look at that. Three meters nine by two meters three. I quite like this study. It's a little bit dark. I like, but I, I... it's at the back of the house, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The well, sun just hasn't got round here. You can see the work on the dormers. Look at the detail in them. So it's got quite a low, low hanging roof, hasn't it? Isn't that a lovely feature? Yeah. It's in... And then last but not least, oh, excuse me, bedroom one. Metres three by four metres set, four metres nine. What a beautiful room! So, what have we got? We've got two windows in this bedroom, plenty of light. That is a super king size bed which is super, isn't it? Which you could fit two of them in if you wanted to. In fact, you could have three of them in here. It's so big. I mean, they've even got room for a chaise in that area. Plenty even the wardrobes just... additional furniture. Yeah, you've got a bank of wardrobes there. And again, look, just look at the, the ceiling. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it, with the, with the slopes. And it's got its own beautiful little ensuite there. The 
this is the biggest bedroom I've seen in a while, I think. Yeah. They've got a lovely big shower cubicle, suspended sink there, and a loo. Very beautifully tiled. Well, I'm completely wowed actually with this house. It is beautiful. Well, we've actually seen a lot, you know, we've seen a few line cut houses in our time, but we've not really yeah. ever seen anything kind of top of the range from them, really, mm. um, because their developments have been quite modest. But this development really does show what they're capable of doing and this, delivering. This is an outstanding house. Yeah, it is. Mm. And this, this would rival any of the big boys, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah. And um, you know, it's a thumbs up there. really for Absolutely. that line court, you know, um, and you know, great well, development. Well, please let us know what you think. We, we'd be really interested to know what you think of this house because we think it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, if you like it, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And we will catch you on our next video very soon, won't we? If you want to know any more information about this house, mm. about its area, how much it costs, yeah. look in the description box below. Uh, below, yeah. Take Thanks care. for Bye. watching.